Well, I'm out there making it another great day, and uh, how many out there would like to go back to the 1980s or 1990s? Well, we're going to do just that today with a brand new place that has opened not very long ago, maybe a few weeks. Uh, it's been maybe a month, I don't know. I've been meaning to get over here, and I just procrastinate, and I haven't been able to, haven't been motivated, but today, we're going to check it out. It's called Gen X Tavern. Not just a bar, they also, it's a restaurant, has food, and a lot of nostalgic stuff on display inside this place. Um, a few arcade machines, but a lot of memorabilia, and uh, kind of retro-y. So let's go back to the 1980s and the 1990s at Gen X Tavern right now, and that's coming at you right now. Well, we have arrived right inside of the Bank of America building, but it's a pretty large restaurant bar called Gen X Tavern, and they open at 11 o'clock every day, and they have this motif of old TVs and VCRs on display. Let's go inside and check it out and get something to eat. I think what we'll do is we'll sit down and have a little food and then we're going to check out all this goodness inside this cool place called Gen X Tavern. It's a cool bar. They bring it out on a clipboard, the menu here at the Gen X Tavern. And the salad section is called the Richard Simmons. Uh, kind of interesting. I guess they're thinking healthy. What caught my eye was some of the burgers on this, on this menu. Uh, they have the Hellraiser, the Freebird. The Abe Froman, how many remember Abe Froman from uh, Ferris Bueller? And they've got the Sue Ellen Ewing patty melt and the trickle down burger and this Carl Spackler burger, the cousin Eddie burger, and the MacGyver burger. They also have an entree called the Griswold's Barbecued Chicken and a Kiss My Grits and Shrimp. And a Kiss My Grits, that was uh, Flo from Alice. I found something on their dessert menu. Not only do they have Dunkaroos, but it's candy spam funnel cake. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. One thing that's pretty cool on this uh, Gen X Tavern's drink menu on their, on their front cover is it says, drink for us, drink. And uh, how appropriate in the 25th anniversary of Forrest Gump and my friend Sonny Schroeder is in that classic film as Bear Bryant. They also have some very interesting cocktail drink names. They got um, uh, Pump Up the Jam and uh, Pretty in Pink. One called About Last Night. Uh, the Clam Digger. Last Word to Your Mother. Breast Breakfast Club Martini. Uh, give Me Those rock Poppin' Rockin' Beats. And here's a shot called uh, G.I. Joe. And um, pretty interesting uh, menu here. Well, I have ordered my lunch here at the 10X Tavern. I ordered the Abe Froman, and I did ask him if that sausage was from Chicago. And he said, oh, it was some other company or something. I was trying to be funny. But uh, hopefully that'll show up soon. Well, they have brought me some Heinz ketchup for my waffle fries and my Abe Froman sandwich. Sausage sandwich with some grilled onions and peppers and I bet it's good. It looks pretty good. And uh, we're gonna try this Abe Froman. He, he came and set it down and he said, Abe Froman, I said, yep, that's me. And he started laughing and I asked him, if this sausage was from Chicago, if it was Chicago sausage, and they really don't know, but um, Abe Froman was the sausage king of Chicago, and I'm gonna be the sausage king here at lunch. One of the things I found interesting, they bring your napkins and silverware in this little plastic container, like from the 80s, it looks like something I would see at Claire's Boutique, but uh, it's uh, filled with napkins, and so are. Well, I have been enjoying this meal. These waffle fries are seasoned and they are good. And this Abe Froman, 
I mean the sausage on this and the toppings, all the peppers and grilled onions, it's really good as well. And uh, of course sausage does open a floodgate for many out there. Well I have finished all them waffle fries and they were very good, they were very seasoned, they were excellent, excellent, excellent. And I can't finish all this Abe Froman and uh, it's a lot of sausage and I'm really full. But this was a fabulous meal. And it is pretty darn cool. And what I do like about this place that I've seen online was this motif of old TV sets and old VCRs and old video game consoles. And look at all those. How many have some of those in their house? Some of those old VHS tapes. And uh, I was just in amazement. Here's an old cassette deck. That's neat. And uh, the old portable TV. How many used to have a portable TV that they took along. And uh, I just want to walk around and check this place out. Look at that cool neon bar over there. And uh, they have some arcade games in here as well. They have a big wall mural here with all kinds of movies and stuff and memorabilia from the 80s and the 90s. You're talking Pretty Woman, you're talking The Breakfast Club, you're talking Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Jurassic Park. And don't forget to save Ferris back in 1986. And there's the old jean jacket with the all the buttons. Remember when everybody used to have the buttons hanging around? And our old buddy here, which is making a comeback, is Ghostbusters right there. I don't even see a garbage bell kid over here. It's a pretty good seating area here with a lot of memorabilia, even old lockers from the high school era. Yep, they've got pinball and they have ski ball. But they also have this Pac-Man. This is Greg George's dream right here, these machines. But look nicely in your game room, Greg. I am just in amazement of how big this place is. It's, it's, I'm here early in the day, so in the evening, I'm sure it's pretty packed. They have a family lounge area back here, like an old uh, 80s and 90s living room and oh I like that I like that coffee table I have a bathroom mat that has an old cassette tape like that that would match for sure how many of you remember the old floppy disk computer disk they have them made up all around this this lamp living room lamp that's pretty neat they even have a picture portrait here a painting of that famous scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off where they went to the museum you know, and then took the day off. So that's pretty neat. Remember the movie Cocktail? They have a neon sign from that film as well. And you gotta have a little Back to the Future represented here for sure from the 80s. Here's Doc Brown and a little Bruce Springsteen on the wall. And they have some old VHS tapes of some movies. Who had those? Dirty Dancing in the Sandlot. I believe Tampa J. Might have some of those. And yes, everybody back in the day was saved by the bell and uh, running around like a virgin uh, with Madonna. They even have a little Teen Wolf going on here and uh, Star Wars Stormtrooper light switch. Plenty of seating back here in the back for the family. Lots of cool portraits on the wall. Right over here is like the Last Supper of the 80s and the 90s and uh, a nice cool portrait big bird up here and uh, the one right there in the middle who is normally Jesus at the Last Supper is E.T. in this one and uh, everybody included including Slimer and Mr. T and Alf and Yoda and Gizmo and it does look like the restrooms there's a Pac-Man board wall which is kind of cool. The men's room is Mr. Pac-Man and the women's room is Miss Pac-Man. How appropriate is that? How many remember the old Swatch watch? They have a big gigantic Swatch watch here on the wall as a clock. Right here it says, can I please just live in the 1990s? Well here at Generation X Tavern, you can do just that take you back to the 90s and 80s. How many remember this sticker? Remember everybody was freaking out in uh, 1999 that everything was going to crash. 
Oops, Seinfeld. There's a Reagan Bush sticker. All kinds of cool stickers all over this locker. They even have a Shrine Memorial homage to Kramer right here. Kramer from Seinfeld. How neat's that? I have discovered an air hockey game. It's a Superdome air hockey game. That looks pretty cool. I'm not by myself. Uh, I never have anybody tag it along. Tampa J, where you at? You need to be hanging around and checking places like this out with me. Very cool portrait painting from The Breakfast Club. One of my favorite films. One of my Besides Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which I've seen hundreds and hundreds of times, this one I have seen as many times as Ferris Bueller, and it is a classic. I do like the colored bar, the super cool colors on the bar, it's very inviting. They even have the Super Nintendo controllers and game module, and they're ready to play some Super Nintendo right here. I guess you can play this. There's even a mini Pac-Man machine. Those are coming back and they're making a comeback for sure. Gen X Tavern. They even have, they got Legos here, Greg George. Look at that. Directly from Star Wars. They've even got X's on the floor here for Gen X Tavern. And it says right here on the sign, Back to the Future. And yes, I will be back to this place for sure. It was good. Hey everybody, it's John Schneider. You know Bo from the Dukes of Hazzard. Jonathan Kent from Smallville. Jim Cryer from the Haves and Have-Nots, and a really bad, nasty guy from Nip Tuck. But anyway, now is a fantastic time for you to click that subscribe button. It's right there. Don't be afraid. Nothing will happen if you click that, except you'll be informed. You don't want to wander around in this big old world uninformed. Do you? Don't do it. Subscribe. Well, that was fun here at Gen X Tavern right here in downtown Tampa on Jack East Jackson Street. Very good meal. Very, very good meal indeed. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Enjoyed the manager coming over and talking to me. I appreciate that. And uh, definitely come check this place out if you want a little 80s, 90s flashback. This is the place to do it at the Gen X Tavern right here on East Jackson Street in downtown Tampa. Uh, check out their link in the description and that Abe Froman burger was good and um, had a little fun with it. There's a lot of other burgers on there with a lot of interesting names and I like that. They got very creative with this one and uh, this would be a great place to come have a party, a little get together. Uh, when I seen this place I thought of my buddies Tampa J, Splore and Ryan and Adventures by George. Oh, uh, Jay, Ryan, and Greg, and uh, I think those guys would really like this type of place. It's not just a bar, it's more of a restaurant, and a lot of memorabilia and nostalgic stuff, and a few arcade games. So, um, kind of relive your past, come in and just kind of take your mind off things. And uh, I did, I had a great time here, and uh, the food was excellent. Excellent, excellent. I can't say that any better, but it was excellent. Uh, and uh, I do give my honest opinion and um, I'll be back, I'll be bringing people. Uh, this will be a place I would want to bring someone from out of town to uh, eat, definitely, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna keep finding these places. This place has only been open about a month and um, definitely check it out next time you're in Tampa or if you're a local, don't know about it, they just opened and um, check them out. You, uh, you, will, you will enjoy this little place and it is actually larger than what I expected uh, from when I seen online I didn't know how big it was but it is a huge restaurant uh, all the way into the back with a family room area so uh, check it out I'm gonna go find more places to get into more unique spots to find as the time allows and uh, just keep going out there 
best you can. Make it a great day because you deserve it. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.